You know, <clears throat> it looked like Doug had a hard time finishing at some at-bats, which is a credit to their offense. They, they hung in there pretty effectively and, and, and foul, it looked like foul ball after foul ball after foul ball and then, and then put the ball in play. You know, he had a, the first couple innings, they, they did a good job putting the ball in play. It was their friend and, you know, a couple, couple seeing eye hits, uh, a couple of hard hits. They, they, they played uh, a really effective game against them because of, because of their ability to make contact and their ability to, to, to continue their own innings. Um, and then, you know, you look up and Doug's got 90 plus pitches in the fourth inning. So they did a good job of chasing him out of there. Doug didn't, didn't quite have the put away pitches to end at bats on time. What did Carlos Martinez do well today? Um, well, early on, he mixed his pitches pretty well. It looked like the ball was moving a little bit. We were pretty late on his fastball. It looked like he was running it in pretty far on the, on the, uh, on the right-handed hitters. Um, and then, you know, we just didn't find any hits early. There, we didn't really put the ball in play that hard um, till mid part, midway through the game. So, you know, he did a good job of mixing his pitches. He had uh, a lead. Once he got the 3 nothing lead, it looked like he settled in a little bit. He, he does a good job as he's maturing of, of laying back a little bit with his fastball and hovers in the low 90s. And then when he needs a reach back, it uh, looks like 94, 95, 96. I think he threw 97 to Altuve. Um, so he's got plenty in, in the tank. So he, he did a good job moving the ball around. Uh, he expanded the zone a little bit with us. Um, and really just really just dominated us. It looked like a lot of guys were swinging early. Was that kind of like a mindset to try to get on something kind of clear? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's primarily a fastball guy early in the count. Uh, even with the movement, we wanted to get on him a little bit. And that, you know, the, the, the catch-22 in that is if you go early and, and don't produce, then, then he's pretty low in his pitch count, and he's getting some early count outs, and it looked like he caught his rhythm. Uh, if you if you get the ball in play and put a couple c couple runners on base, uh, we tried to rattle him a little bit, and and see if we could get you know get him to to make some mistakes out of the stretch. We just never got him in the stretch. He he, he continued to pitch out of the windup and pitch effectively. AJ, you guys have been pretty streaky all season. I mean, you started slow and then two really good months, and then a, a slide right now, six and thirteen. Right. Are you concerned about the team right now in, in terms of being able to? Get out of this, or how do you feel about the team? Yeah, no, I, I you know, I, obviously, there's there the, the roller coaster ride that we've been on uh, is no fun when we're in this uh, this portion of it. You know, this game will test your character, it'll test your resolve, it'll te test your your ability to come back from adversity, and, th and this is yet another test for us. You know, we we've got uh, you know the, the the better part of six weeks left of of the regular season, and and. We need to compile some wins. Now we, we can't we can't replay the games again. I say that over and over. And we don't have to carry a couple of tough games against the Cardinals to Baltimore with us. We can leave them here in Houston and 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 return you know in a week after a road trip. So uh, we've got to play better if we expect to, to to make a push here and compile some wins and play a little bit more complete games of our of winning baseball. You know the big numbers we've given up. Um, you know are 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 obviously not. Not helpful, but I think the pitching staff's trying to make perfect pitches while the offense gets untracked. On the offensive side, the more that we, uh, you know, swing outside the strike zone, trying to do too much, trying to, to be the guy, um, you know, we see some rough games along the way. So tough league, tough schedule. Uh, you know, if we if we if we want to make a make a point of uh, of this season being a little more memorable, we need to be better. How do you a sense of urgency with these guys while maintaining the ability to keep them loose so that they can just play. Yeah, I don't have to create any sense of urgency. These are these are big league baseball players, and they they know. I mean, this is we're in August. We went through a playoff chase last year. Um, you know, we've got some young kids that are that are that are learning on the fly here, and and, it, and some of them are some steep learning curves. But um, the, the the leadership in the in the clubhouse, they understand. They understand that every day we come to the park um, from from here on out that it's. Uh, it's magnified a little bit more, so I don't have to. I don't have to create anything. We'll continue to 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 push them along the way. We're trying to correct some mistakes. You know, we're a little bit all over the place with uh, the quality of play that that we've been able to bring to the to the field. You know, a week ago, uh, we were all high five and coming out of Minnesota, thinking that the offense had, had begun to click. We played good defense. We pitched really well. Uh, we had a tough series in Toronto. Then we come home and and get this. So I try not to ride the the momentum too much, other than. Uh, to admit that 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 we need to be better if if we're gonna if we're gonna make make it better. That's four straight outings where maybe your starting pitching wasn't as good as it probably should have been. Um, is that more of a testament to the level of competition, or do you think they're pressing? Or 
I think it's a tough league. So I think it's it's you know I you know I, if I had an answer for every single uh, swell that happens, both positive and negative, we would we would bottle up the good, and I would continue to feed it to them. You know I think the the league will remind you that you have to play the whole schedule and you got to play really good teams. And we're in the middle of a really tough stretch for us. Um, it depends on your perspective on life. You're half you know glass half full, then you tip your cap to the other side. You want to be negative, then then we can beat up our own guys. I'm not going to sit up here and, and, and criticize our guys. They're putting in effort. They're putting in their work. Um, you know, we, 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 can, we can be better uh, tomorrow than we were today, and that's what i got to worry about. Uh, Barry, with some of the younger players, Teoscar breaking up the no-hitter and uh, <clears throat> continuing to show. Yeah, they're learning, uh, and they're learning quickly that uh, some of the adjustments that they're going to have to make. And, and, you know, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, player to player, coach to player. To get Bregman, to get Hernandez, to get Musgrove uh, up and up and running here, and uh, this is a different team than than what everybody expected to be in August. It doesn't mean that that it has to be a crutch or that that has to be an excuse, um, but we need to get these guys up and running pretty quickly. Bregman, uh, as I've said before, the scoreboard's not going to be kind to him until you know maybe even the end of the year or into next season. So, uh, but but he continues to put up some really good at bats. Teoscar. Uh, this time last year was was scuffling in double a trying to keep his head above water now he's in the big leagues uh, he's earned that right so um, you know we'll, I'm, I'm happy with the the attention to detail that's going on I think we need to be a little bit better with with understanding uh, what it takes to win at this level I think that's the toughest thing for a young kid to know who hasn't done it uh, some of the smaller things that we need to be better at what have you seen lately from AJ Reed you know the last two at bats were obviously good when he gets gets some hits um, you know, I think I think coming up as a power hitter, um, there's an expectation that he's going to drive every pitch out of the ballpark, and and he's not getting a ton of pitches to hit. They're pitching him carefully. His his getting into into pitchers counts has been very difficult for him. Uh, I like that. Obviously, he got a couple base hits today. One, you know, well placed double, and then the base hit to right. Hopefully, will create a little bit of momentum for him.